Empire. My name is Amanda Flowers Peterson and you're on beauty, my view on beauty. Today I am excited to share with you how cool it is to add essential oils, to be specific therapeutic grade essential oils into your hair care regimen. And also I'm talking about my winter care refresh routine that has helped me keep my hair thick and full of shine and body and soft to the touch. And so you'll want to stay tuned. <laughs> Now, please check out my um, review on bentonite clay in the hair. This is six day hair. It's still moisturized, it's still soft. I can still get my hands through it. It's still detangled. And so, ladies, please, please do not neglect the opportunity, the economical um, opportunity of bentonite clay. Today, I'm going to be utilizing um, some very, very simple things that I think you would love adding into your winter regimen. And they are aloe vera juice. filtered water, distilled water, um, you know, just not tap water. Castor oil that I put into an old um, salsa jar that I had. And then the most important piece is therapeutic grade essential oil, rosemary. Rosemary is amazing and I want to show you how to use that today. Again, this is not going to be something you can buy at your local, um, you know, organic grocery store, health grocery store. You're going to want to be able to order these, the therapeutic grade. You're going to be happy with the results. I would suggest doTERRA or Young Living. They both have high quality um, grade oils at a decent price and you just you will not regret when you experience these this kind of level of oil so rosemary okay so i have my spray bottle and i have two parts um, aloe vera juice eight parts water and then all i'm doing is to refresh my hair so this is a six day old twist out that i um you know switch off i do pineapple um, every other day and every other day I retwist and you can see I've already twisted some twists here they're nice juicy and they're weighted and I want to show you how I did that so I just oops there off the side I'm horrible at sectioning off my hair I just don't know if I um, if I just am lazy or what maybe I just answered my own question but at the end of the day I'm just really bad at sectioning off my hair so I'm going to take a section more closer to the camera here to help you be able to see. So here goes my hair. Like I said, it's moisturized, but you can see that it's it's dry. I've just been using water to, um, to moisturize it and then sealing it with the oil. And that's all I've done since my wash routine with bentonite clay. So, um, I'm actually really happy with the results. My hair is still very pliable. I mean, I can stretch it, I can pull it, and it's not snappy and cracking. That's what you want, ladies, for your winter hair. Um, it's going, it, our hair needs water a lot, so it's going to get dry, but you want this kind of hair if you're refreshing even. So, um, maybe I can do a little bit more. You want the twist to be kind of big because you don't, you're not redoing the twists, you're just refreshing them. And so I do a little bit of detangling, as you can see with my, uh, with my thumb and my pointer finger, I just slide the hair between the two um, and detangle all the way down to the tip. Wait, to tip, wait to tip. And then I take my fingers and I take my spray bottle and I drench my hands with the water aloe vera juice. I drench, you can see all of that water aloe vera juice. And as you can see, as soon as I add the water, my curl pattern just pops all the more. You can even see old product on there. So 
Um, I put very little product on my hair, but the aloe vera juice does a really good job of closing your cuticle. And because of that, it will refresh product you've already placed on there. Ladies, this is a huge tip because this will help you save money in the future. You want to figure out ways that can help um, stretch some of those products because they are not cheap. Um, if you're using, um, you know, like Shea Moisture Line or anything like that, it's not like they're, they break the bank, but if you are heavy handed, they definitely can. I mean, you could be buying new products every three weeks and that can get spendy. So I am massaging my ends because they deserve the most love. I got a little bit of hair from the detangling there. I'm just picking up whatever little pieces so I can show you that is the little bit of hair I got from this little piece here so about two strands two three strands of hair and then I take the castor oil right here and I take my finger like this and I dip the castor oil my finger in the cap castor oil and I get this much castor oil that's it and I massage my ends and as you can see, my ends become very separated and very defined. They just love the castor oil. And again, you can use really any kind of castor oil. Um, people really swear by the Jamaican black castor oil. I've actually never used that, but I use just the castor oil I found at my local um, Whole Foods, Orchard, um, any health food store. Um, and it seems to give me good results and so anywhere I could save a dime I'm going to and then I just make sure that I just do a quick squirt along the whole section I massage that and I'm sure there's some casserole from the tips getting there but it's very little I just really get the casserole on the end but as you can see I can pull apart my hair and it's not snapping, it's not breaking, it's going really well. So then I twist, making sure that I any unnecessary hair involved in this process. Let me stick close here. And as, I, as you can see, even though I didn't rub more product on my hair um, beyond the tips, you can see as I'm twisting, the old product is being refreshed and reused and it is retwisting my hair. So just making sure that this twist is nice and tight. And that it stays detangled. I detangled with my thumb and my pointer finger the whole way down, keeping it going. And then the castor oil on the ends, you can feel it there. And I even take some of that product. I just kind of rub it at the base. And as you can see, I have this gorgeous, juicy twist that I love. So that's how I get getting them. I will be back and I will show you the end results and show you how I use rosemary. See you soon. Wanted to show you the the real deal here, the rosemary oil and what I do with it. So after I've um, refreshed my twist and my hair has parts in it, I spray my scalp with the water casserole and I massage it into my scalp. I just make sure that the water touches everywhere on my scalp. Oh, that's so good. Just a quick little scalp massage. And then I take my rosemary oil and I do at least three drops. Two, three, four. Okay, I did five. It's fine. And I put it on my fingertips and I do go over the same places. I do my temples. I massage. Right here I have a dry spot. It just stays dry, but has been getting better since I've been doing my rosemary oil treatment. I've read a ton of stuff on rosemary oil. It's supposedly good for memory, 
um, and, and it's incredible for um, neurological regrowth. Like it's just a, it's a miracle drug. But more importantly, why I'm using it today is because it has been proven to thicken hair. So it um, increases blood circulation. It has anti-inflammatory properties. Um, and but I also get the the double deal here, rubbing it at the base of my of my scalp because that's where. Um, you would rub it for increased memory, and hey, who doesn't need a little more memory? So I'm gonna just get that in there, and then around my edges, and then you will see. And then your hair just smells amazing. I love the smell of rosemary um, oil, and I just try to get it around my edges that I have here. And then if I've done my refresh and I know I'm not doing anything the next day. I will come up with a style for it. And so I'll just show you real quick my favorite one, which is also good at stretching the twist even further. And that is the a goddess braid of sorts. Very simple. Looks like I tried to do something. And then I do it to the other side of the hair. I hope this has been helpful to you. I am just trying to give you some tips on how to grow in healthy hair. Make sure you include in your winter regimen. I have it in my year-round regimen, but your winter regimen, um, make sure you always use filtered, distilled, whatever kind of water, not tap water. Um, aloe vera juice is a miracle for your hair. It, the acidity actually closes the cuticle and helps keep moisture in that you put in after washing it. Um, have a handy dandy spray bottle. And then um, castor oil, and I have mine in a salsa jar, otherwise I would show you the original bottle I bought it in. And then therapeutic grade essential oils and the one that i'm talking to you about today is rosemary i hope this was helpful again and you have a blessed day this is amanda florence peterson with my view on beauty here at